Hey everyone, first I want to thank you for checking out this review, and uh, if you could go ahead and uh, like and subscribe to the channel, uh, there's going to be a lot more stuff just like this coming out, uh, working on a lot of cool content, so I would really appreciate your support. Uh, today I'm doing a review of the Blade Tech Ultimate Clipped for my Glock 26. Um, I... Uh, could not really find anything about this holster on uh, on YouTube or, or anywhere online other than the uh, Blade Tech's website. So I figured uh, if, since I went ahead and picked one up that I'd go ahead and do a review for it. So first, let's do the thing. Show that the weapon is clear. There we go. Uh, so this is for my uh, Glock 19 Gen 5 and uh or glock 26 gen 5 my bad and so uh this is the blade tech ultimate clipped um kind of meant to be an appendix carry um cool little you know small holster i'm going to talk about some of this stuff in a minute um so i've been carrying this for about a week now and i wanted to do that before i before i got in and, and did a review of it um i really like pretty slim profile you can see the uh when carrying appendix, which is what I carry this, uh, this, these claws or, you know, every company calls them something different. Those really help. Um, but anyway, I was really intrigued by this for a small, low profile holster. So I do like it for that. I like it for the, it's low profile. Um, it is easily concealable. Um, it is, uh, small and, and helps printing. Um, I wasn't sure how I was going to like, this is my first holster that has a clip a single clip under the trigger guard with a claw on it. I wasn't really sure how I was gonna like that, um, but it works out pretty good. I do have some issues with uh, the weapon, with the holster canting on its own while, you know, throughout the day, um, but it's not too big of a deal. It, it doesn't bother me a whole lot. Um, it works. So, uh, I really like that they have these in stock. You order these from their website, it ships the next day. It was here in four or five days, um, so zero wait time. I like that it was affordable. I can't remember exactly, but I think this holster was uh, 45 or $50, which is a little bit more affordable than, than some of the, the custom made to order options out there. Um, so yeah, what are some of the things that I don't like about it? Because I'll be honest with you, that's about all I like about it. It conceals well, it does a good job of, of not printing, it's a small profile. <clears throat> what I don't like about it, um, I've come to realize that I'm not a big fan of these CNC style holsters where they are not actually printed. They're not actually molded around a gun. They're, they, how they make these is they, excuse me, they, uh, they machine uh, some uh, billet aluminum or whatever they decide to use, and then they vacuum seal this thermoplastic around it. Um, and, and the thing that uh, has led me to not like that is um, it's extremely uncomfortable. I found this holster extremely uncomfortable. Um, I'll throw up some pictures uh, in the video here of what this looked like when it was brand new. Um, but my, my main issue was on the part that pressed up against my leg. I'll do my best to let you see this. I have ground all this down. So this used to be a real hard point. Well, just like that right there. Um, it's just really square and a really hard point. And then these grommets, hopefully you can see that, that I've ground down. It's kind of hard to tell, but those were real raised and between this section here and this section here, it just really, really dug into um, right next to my leg, next to the crease of my leg. Um, it was it was really uncomfortable. And I know that's part of the issue with with some of the the shorter barreled guns. That's why a lot of people like the foam wedges, um, all that sort of thing. So. I know it's partially that. Also, uh, this section right here, this was a straight point. It was perfectly square. Kind of dug into my junk a little bit, to be honest with you. Um, so what I did was I ground all this stuff down. Hopefully you can kind of see that. 
It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but uh, I, I'm big on perfection. I, I want it to be as comfortable and effective as humanly possible. Um, so I've ground, ground all these corners down. Uh, and then I went to um, Home Depot or Lowe's and got some uh, a free carpet sample. Home Depot, there it is. And uh, just cut it to fit, pulled out one of the screws and uh, put a hole through two pieces of it. So one piece is just just above the trigger guard. Another piece covers the whole thing. And between grinding those down and this, now we're in good shape. Now this is a, a really comfortable holster. Um, it, these actually help it stay in place a little bit, which I didn't uh, I didn't expect, but it, it works. Um, and like I said, I've been carrying this for about a week now. Uh, so anyway, I like it now. Um, I'm not super in love with uh, the, the fact that that this it has the the full shield, but it is reversible, and I know that's why. It comes with the left-handed claw, whatever they call it, whatever Blade Tech calls that. Um, so I know that that's, that's the reason why I've been considering shaving this off as well. Um, but it doesn't bug me too much. However, with the Gen 5 Glock 26, you've got the ambidextrous mag release, uh, or slide release, my bad. And, um, this, this holster is, is definitely not designed for that. You can, you can see how this side is for the Gen 3s and the Gen 4s, how uh, that side is deeper than this side. So that's something to keep in mind. It doesn't seem to fit. It doesn't seem to matter a whole lot. Um, but uh, it just pushes this side out a little bit. Um, that's part of the reason I'm thinking about shaving this off since I am right-handed. But anyway, now that I've modified it, I really like it. It's a good holster. Um, I'm not super in love with the thermoplastic thing. I'd prefer Kydex. You can kind of see, now this brush is right off, but you can kind of see the the marks that it leaves. And I know this is a tool, guys. Like, I'm not super, super picky about it. And these do, these do rub off. Um, but for those kind of things and for the modification side of it, I do kind of prefer Kydex. Uh, I would on a lot of my Kydex holsters. I just heat it up and you know, I would have just bent these uh, rather than uh, Rather than grinding them down necessarily. So anyway blade tech ultimate clipped uh, Fast uh, shipping relatively inexpensive um, Not the most comfortable holster I've ever had but I was able to modify it to be extremely comfortable and effective. It is nice and low profile. Um, please uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you uh, have any experience with this, leave me a comment. Or uh, if you have an alternative suggestion in a similar style, please leave it in a comment. And uh, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. I got a lot of great content coming. Uh, hit me up on Instagram at Tactical Boomsticks. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.